In this problem, we have a plutonium-239 atom with 94 protons. The atom's nucleus has a radius of 6.64 femtometers, or 6.64 times 10 to the negative 15 meters. We want to find the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the surface area of the nucleus that is being produced by the protons. Since there are 94 protons, and one proton has an elementary charge, or E, then the total charge on this nucleus can be written as 94E. The protons are evenly distributed through the nucleus, meaning that the net charge at the surface area of the nucleus is exactly the same as it would be if the charges were all located at the center. This means that we can use the formula for the magnitude of an electric field at a radius, or a distance, from the charge producing the field. And this is that. Based on this formula, we can set the charge to 94E, and now we just need to plug in our values. And I have entered in the values right here, and we come up with a magnitude of 3.07 times 10 to the 20th power of newtons per coulomb. There's also the matter of finding the direction of the electric field. Remember that the electric field lines are drawn so that they point away from positive charges and toward negative charges. Since the protons here are positively charged, the electric field lines should be pointed radially outward.